God bless you. Thank you for joining me. My name is Dexter Skeppel. I'm a proud member of the Office of Gun Violence Prevention under the leadership of Anthony Emanuel. Today, we're talking about domestic violence. Domestic violence is a very serious issue in every community. It doesn't matter your race, your social economic status. It doesn't matter your education. Domestic violence actually affects everyone. According to the World Health Organization, says that one out of every three women are going to be affected by gun violence, by domestic violence. And you know, domestic violence is an extremely sensitive issue in so many households. Is there domestic violence in your house? Is there something that we can do to help? You know, domestic violence, when you start to ask what's the exact definition of domestic violence, it is verbal, it is physical, it is emotional abuse, it's the kicking, it's the, it's the fighting between a spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend or somebody that you're in a close relationship with. And we want to address domestic violence. I don't think that domestic violence is the answer to any problem that you may have. There are two parts of domestic violence. There is the victim and then there is the perpetrator. I want to talk today to the victim now. I want to talk to the victim. You know, there are many times that sometimes you may be in a horrible relationship where there is kicking and fighting and threatening and abuse. You don't have to live in that situation. You don't have to stay in that situation. It is an unhealthy relationship. Domestic violence only thrives when it's kept in darkness. Let me say that again. Domestic violence only thrives when it's kept in darkness and you have to expose it and let it come to light so that you can have help. There's so many help around you. Maybe you need to talk to somebody in your family. Maybe you need to talk to a trusted counselor. Maybe you need to talk to a pastor. You need to talk to somebody because it only thrives when it's hidden. And you have to make sure that if you're in domestic violence in some form or somehow that you expose it today. Do not wait until domestic violence turns in to your premature death. Again, domestic violence only thrives in darkness and you have to bring it to light. Every relationship, every relationship starts with mutual respect. Every relationship, domestic violence is not just a male against a female. It could be a female being aggressive against a male and you don't have to stay in any relationship that you see that can lead to the death or your death of your children or your death of anybody that's in your family. You have to bring domestic violence to an end because it can affect your kids. It can affect your mom and your dad. It can affect the whole community. If somebody is in domestic violence that leads to the killing of somebody else, you know that 4.5 million people in the United States are affected by domestic violence and over 1 million of that 4.5 end up in death in gun violence in some form of death by time that's all over. And you and I have a reason to stop gun violence. I believe that if somebody has a firearm, if they have anger that's pinned up on the inside of them, it, they may be a person that can sometime explode and sometime go into a place where you don't want to be. Domestic violence is something, again, that thrives. It thrives when it is in darkness. I want to talk to the perpetrator now. The perpetrator, you know, if you don't know how to hold your anger, you don't, maybe you need somebody to help you to manage your emotion. Domestic violence is a serious, serious, serious thing. It can actually lead to you being in prison. It can lead to your death. And if you're the perpetrator of domestic violence, you have an opportunity to stop today so that it does not go any further. You do not want to kill somebody. You don't want to kill someone. You don't want to damage somebody just because you are upset. Domestic violence, it's not accepted in no community, nowhere at all. Back to the victim. 
If you're in a relationship that you need to change, you need to make that change. Do not wait until something happened that is drastic, that you cannot bring change to that. I believe with all of my heart, matter of fact, I know this, that you can come out of any situation that you're in. I believe, I know that a domestic violence situation can stop, but you are the only person that can stop it. You are the only person that can change course. You're the only person that can come out of a abusive relationship that could lead to your death. Domestic violence is dangerous. Domestic violence is no place that you and I need to live, to be in. We need to change our current situation. If you're in domestic violence, especially if there's a gun involved, especially if somebody's threatening you, you have the opportunity to make that change today. Every person have the right to peace and to live in peace. My name is Dexter Skeppel. I'm a proud member of the Office of Gun Violence on the leadership of Anthony Emanuel. We appreciate you taking this time to giving us your time. You have a great and an awesome day.